Hello, I'm Moira Stilwell, the Minister of Social Development. Regrettably, the 14th annual Community Living Month has come to a close. It has been a wonderful month of celebration and awareness raising. I spent my time traveling throughout the province and getting a better sense of the community living sector. I visited individuals with developmental disabilities, families and care providers in communities all around BC. For me personally, it was an incredibly touching experience to hear the personal stories from people with developmental disabilities and their families. I've gained valuable insight into a significant part of my ministerial responsibilities, and importantly, I've had my eyes open to the realities of living with a developmental disability. I'd like to thank all the people I met with, individuals, parents and service providers for being so generous with their time and so candid in their sharing. In my travels, I had the opportunity to meet with two young people in their 20s with developmental disabilities. These roommates, who both require 24-7 care, have dreams just like other 20-somethings. Thanks to the support of their parents and service providers, they're able to live in their own home, make their own decisions, and create their own lives just like other young people. In another community I visited, I visited a housing complex that had a lovely courtyard in the middle and a common area for gathering. The residents of this complex, including individuals with developmental disabilities, seniors and low-income families as well as others, have created a welcoming inclusive community where they feel safe. So thank you to everyone who works in this sector for the hard work you do every day. I also want to extend a special thank you to the home share and residential service providers who welcome people with developmental disabilities into their homes and families. And I'd especially like to thank all the parents. This community living sector has changed so much over the past 30 years, and it's really because of the work of parents. Parents have driven the changes out of desire to see their children lead inclusive, meaningful lives. They sparked a social movement that opened the door for individuals with developmental disabilities to be more independent and have control over their own futures. Young people transitioning into adulthood can now have a life with friends, hobbies, a job, and a place to call their own. As a parent, I recognize that there are always challenges, and with so many additional concerns, I understand that there are some days that are incredibly tough, so thank you for all the work you do. You make a huge difference in the lives of your children and the lives of other families. In closing, I will take this opportunity to encourage everyone to embrace the spirit of Community Living Month on a year-round basis. Certainly, I plan to do so and will continue my travels around the province. Together, we must make British Columbia a better, more inclusive place to live. Remember, it all starts with high.